Welcome back to The Lay District for part two of this epic three-part walking series focused on the Langdale area. Wow. Hello and welcome back to The Lay District. We're here at Lake Windermere. It is a beautiful morning. I've just been taking some pictures of some mandarin ducks. Oh, just perfect. We're going to be heading off in a minute for our next walk in the lakes. And it's going to be around Elterwater. We start today's walk from the village of Elterwater, following a lovely, well-marked trail all the way down the river towards Skelwith Bridge. This scenic six-mile walk features postcard-perfect views, epic waterfalls, a magnificent cave, and a photograph famous bridge, along with another beautiful town known as Little Langdale Town. Once again I've got my sidekick Henry with me on this one. There is plenty of National Trust parking in the village, but I did manage to secure some early morning free parking just up the road, on the outskirts of the village. Ok, off down the river we go. I picked a corker of a day for this one. Just look how crystal clear these waters are. There's a lot of people here today. Popular walk. This initial clearly marked trail goes on for a good mile and a half, taking us all the way to our first stop off point, Skelwith Force. Busy, busy. I took my time here, enjoying the views along the river, with the snow peak mountains far in the distance. Honestly, every turn is like a postcard. It's just incredibly beautiful. Well, this is nice. Remember this bridge, we'll be back to cross this shortly. You can hear the falls roaring in the distance from here. Do be careful if you decide to scramble down close to scale with force. The rocks can be slippy either side of the attached platform. Ok, back to the bridge to continue our walk. We've got an even more impressive waterfall to find next. After crossing the bridge, things certainly seem to quieten down from here in terms of walkers. Did they not know what else they could find just a few miles further? Glorious day in the English countryside. Oh, you can't beat it. Before long, the route took me into a farmyard where they were selling self-service ice cream and flapjacks. Happy days. However, I already had a tasty snack of my own for today's walk. Kendall Mint Cake, get in my belly. Proper walking fuel.
How cool are these doggy gates? Genius idea. That's where we're off to next. Call with force. Come on, Hunt. This next stretch really did surprise me, as I hadn't done much research on the waterfalls on this walk. This is magical. It felt like just me and my dog with this woodland wonderland all to ourselves. Ladies and gents, welcome to Colwith Force. Holy smokes, that was incredible. Call with force, take a bow. I was not expecting that. Woo. I tell you what, if I had a hammer and chisel with me today, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> oh my days, look at that down there. I do feel bad for not letting Henry off here, but the truth is he loves chasing squirrels and I just don't know the area. So if I lose him, he's gone. It's just not worth it. Sorry Henry. It's funny, you know, back at the start I thought, oh gosh, today's walk is gonna be super busy. And it was for the first part, you know, the main track towards Scanwith Bridge. But from there, once I crossed the first bridge near the first waterfall, I've barely seen a soul. And yet this walk is relatively easy. There's not a lot of climb in it. And it's stunning. I mean, look at this view I've got right here. How beautiful is this place, a walker's paradise. The next stop, we are off in search of Cathedral Cave. Nice. Let's go and find this cave, shall we? Must be close. This looks like it's it. The cave, located in a disused quarry not far from Little Langdale Tarn, is quite the Lake District hotspot these days. It looks like there are several ways into the cave. The first one I chose ended up looking in from a balcony up high. There was a big drop from here, so I wouldn't recommend this entrance for anyone scared of heights. However, this is the main entrance you'll need to find. Almost there. Bear with me and my old man walking pace. This cave is massive inside, so impressive. You know what, that was pretty cool. The next time I'm not taking a dog. Bless him, he did not like scrambling on any rocks. We couldn't do the full loop within the cave system. But it's fine, we had a great time. What a stunning place and totally off grid. You just don't know it's there. Obviously thanks to Instagram, everyone knows it's there these days, but yeah. A great little addition, great little bonus for this cracking walk around Outer Water. We've made it to Slater's Bridge, a very famous spot in the lakes this. I did bump into a few photographers swarming the best spot for capturing Slater's Bridge. So I took a few snaps and decided to get the drone up instead.
with little Langdale Tarn off in the distance. This area is just stunning. God, when you need it, you need it. We're on the home stretch now, just over 1.5 miles before we're back into the village of Elterwater. Well, if you can't tell, it has just started to rain, but I'm not too far from Elta Water. I've really enjoyed today's walk. I'll leave a link for the route that I've done in the description below. If you've got any questions, fire away. I am new to the area, but I've absolutely loved exploring this part. And it's just totally different from being up high in the mountains. It's been fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. As usual, like, comment, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video and of course subscribe and I'll see you on the next one, part three of my Lake District series. And you won't want to miss this one, our final day in the lakes, taking on a hike up to Stickle Tarn and over the Langdale Pikes. I mean these views are just unreal. Enjoying a spot of lunch by the water being the highlight of the day. What a way to end this mini Lake District walking series. See you there.